Welcome to lesson eight, entering and exiting the water. In this lesson, we're going to teach you some exercises before you get in the surf, how to enter and exit the water safely, and how to paddle on a surfboard properly. So let's get into it. Watch. Oh yeah. As we bigger up inside the place. I am the brother boy and I am leave. I take a dance to parties to do see When there's a flame, I hear you say to me. Before entering the water, it is a good idea to first warm up your muscles. A good way to start your warm up is by a short jog on the beach followed by some light stretching as shown in the demonstration here. By warming up your muscles, you lessen the chance of injury and increase the range of movement and mobility. So now I'm going to teach you how to paddle correctly. Are these people crazy? I'm looking back and I think twice. Say wait a minute, maybe these people. Firstly, position your board. So your chest is in the middle of the board. Your arms are up like this. Now to do the correct paddle stroke, we're going to do big long ones all the way from the nose, keeping your fingers together down the side of your board and releasing it down at the tail. So in this motion, as you can see here, I'm getting maximum paddle power. Now for a beginner, you can always keep your feet at the back, on the board and together. And another key thing is keeping your eyes straight and your chin lifted off the board. So as you can see right now, I've got all those things are happening and this is the correct way to paddle a surfboard. Now Phil has demonstrated the correct way to paddle a surfboard. Here are two examples of the wrong way. Before entering the water, first assess the surf conditions and environment. Don't enter where the waves are too big or there are rips or currents. Choose an entry point that is safe and calm. Once you enter the water, place your board in the water, fins down, resting one hand on the deck. To get over an approaching wave, the best method is to put one hand on the rail and one hand on the tail. Push down on the tail and make the nose lift up over the wave. When you are in waist deep water, hop on your surfboard and start paddling. When a wave approaches you while paddling, you can get through the wave using a few techniques and methods. One such technique is an Eskimo roll. An Eskimo roll is performed by grabbing both rails and rolling over 180 degrees one metre before a wave hits you. Make sure you keep your chest close to the board when doing this. Once the wave has passed, roll back over onto the top and continue to paddle. Another method is a push through. You do this by grabbing both rails and lifting your body up off the board. This allows the whitewash to pass between you and the board. The safest way to exit the water is lie down on your surfboard and ride the whitewash all the way to the shore. So there you have it. How to enter and exit the water correctly, how to do a couple of stretches before you go surfing, and how to paddle a surfboard properly. Next lesson we're going to show you control of the surfboard in the ocean. So until then, stay tuned to Pod Surf TV.